have guests? Uh, hi there. This is my daughter, Seeming. She can be a little shy of strangers. Why don't you run along now, dear? Dad needs to talk with our guests. Oh, okay. Everyone knows Sino in our business, but let me ask, who are you two? Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! To be honest, I really didn't expect to see Sino, the lone operator, working with any partners. When I saw the tracker start moving away, I assumed you had decided to just go back empty-handed. But even though you caught me, I'd still urge you to stop while you still can. You should abandon this investigation. Why is that? Everything from the manufacturing of canned knowledge to the sales and even splitting the profits. Every step of the process involves dozens, if not hundreds of people. Massive profits have brought everyone together in this business. Everyone will try their best to defend this industry that we've worked to build. It will be a long and difficult fight, even for you, Sino. And even if you manage to win in the end, no one will thank you. If anything, you yourself might even feel remorse. Why are you so bent on putting us out of business? Everyone has their own reasons for what they do. I don't have to explain mine. <sighs> Here's some tea, Dad. And for the guests, too. Uh, right. I forgot to offer tea to our guests. <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. And, uh, I should tell you that our tea tastes kind of bitter, but I put some sugar in to make it a little tastier. That's my girl. Do we still have any sugar left? If not, I'll buy some more next time. Yes, we do. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go have a rest now. Didn't you say that everyone's in it for the massive profits? That sure doesn't seem to be the case for you. <clears throat> Actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I... was hoping to ask you for a favor. My daughter was born with a chronic disease, so she has a relatively weak heart and lungs. Even slightly strenuous exercise can cause her to faint and prove to be a life-threatening risk. That's why she never really had any friends to play with, and why she locks herself up in her room most of the time. She has to take lots of medicine, and it doesn't come cheap. As for me, I was just an average merchant. I would wake up early and travel all around to make a profit. But the mora was still nowhere near enough. I could only watch my daughter's health deteriorate day by day. Until one day, someone reached out and showed me a way to really make a profit. Selling canned knowledge. That's right. With all the mora I made, I could finally afford medical treatment for my daughter. Nothing made me happier than seeing her get better. There are many others like me. Smuggling canned knowledge might seem like an unforgivable crime to you, but to us, it's a means of survival. I wanted to tell you all this so that maybe you could understand and change your mind. Please, stay out of this, Sino. Give us a way to survive. Oh no. That means that if we prevent the sale of canned knowledge, his daughter will... <laughs> I must get to the truth. I can find someone to help treat your child, but I cannot turn a blind eye to the smuggling. These are two completely different issues. <sighs> I somehow knew you would say that, but having your word to help my daughter is enough for me. Since you insist on continuing the investigation, you should have a look around the back of my home. You'll find some goods I received just recently. I think everything will become clear to you once you see them. Whoa! Look at all of this! Yes. 
all neatly packed away and organized in boxes. To think that this is only one dealer's worth. Small producers couldn't possibly support such a large quantity of goods. Hmm. Could the Academia have a hand in this? But such a volume of goods wouldn't be able to slip through inspection. Huh? Look! These seem different from the other knowledge capsules we've seen. Maybe they contain knowledge about the Court of Desolation! Yes, that would make sense. Wait, what's this? Yes, it's a Matra seal, indicating that the goods have passed Matra inspection. I started to suspect that someone in the Academia might be involved when I found the tracker earlier. But how they could ship so much canned knowledge out of the Academia was still a mystery. The pieces have now all fallen into place. With this Matra seal, goods can leave the Academia without undergoing a second inspection. <laughs> No wonder they don't want me to investigate. It turns out that a mantra is behind this. Even I find it hard to believe. Could I ask you for a favor, Traveler? Since all this canned knowledge came from the Academia, then it's highly likely that the knowledge regarding the Court of Desolation originated from research files stored within the Academia. If we can enter the repository, we can find out who accessed these files, but considering my current status, if I suddenly show up at the Academia now, it will only draw unnecessary attention. You'll need to be the one who checks the records. I'll write a letter to Nabil, and he'll take you there. Sure thing! Leave it to us! I'll also keep working here in the meantime. Although our leads are all currently pointing to someone within the Academia, it's obvious that they also have power outside of it. We can get more information on other dealers from Bahari. I'll stay here and make some preparations. You can come find me any time if you uncover more info. We meet again. Have you managed to find Sino? If so, how's he doing? I read the letter and must admit that I hadn't expected things to be so serious. Sorry, had I known it would be so dangerous, I never would have gotten you two involved. It's all right, we wanted to help Sino too. <laughs> I can tell that he really trusts you. The research files stored away in the restricted repository are far from ordinary. Everything there is essentially about dangerous research that's forbidden by the Academia. Even I don't usually have authorization to enter, but with this letter from Sino, it shouldn't be a problem. That's right. Granted, the Academia is very supportive when it comes to research, they encourage scholars to conduct all kinds of studies. However, some forms of research have proven to be so dangerous that the Matra have to step in and put a stop to them. Normally, after some particular research becomes prohibited, the majority of the related files will be destroyed. But some information may be retained as a record to warn later researchers. Such information is kept in the restricted repository, which is heavily guarded. Follow me, I'll show you. Hopefully, we'll find the answers that Sino is looking for. The restricted repository? Uh, sounds kinda dangerous. We'd better keep an eye out.
Okay, I understand. Since Sino is vouching for you, I suppose we can trust you. You may browse the information regarding the Court of Desolation. Ask me if you have any questions. But I'd suggest avoiding any other research files. Sometimes the less you know, the better. So this is the restricted repository. I never thought I'd see the inside of it. This is a first for both you and me. There are many who do not openly converse with others within the academia. But even so, there are very few who I feel could be trusted with a real secret. Sino happens to be one of them. Even though he's no longer in the academia, I still trust him. And that goes for anyone he trusts as well. The files are over there. Just make it quick. His former partner? That would be Taj Radkani. But you're not far off. Mortada Radkani was Taj's only son. What? Taj's son went to prison for researching the Court of Desolation? Why do you sound so surprised? You're a Matra, aren't you? It's just that... They arrested him in secret, so it was never publicly known. All I knew was that Taj's son was taken to prison. It's not just me. I, I bet even Sino didn't know about it. No. Unfortunately, there isn't. He took his own life not long after he went to prison. You've heard about Taj, right? I know Nabil has. Every Matra knows him. I would say he's probably pushing 50 this year, which makes him one of the most experienced Matra. He is a man of integrity and honesty, and has made countless achievements. His reputation goes back a long way now. He used to be Sino's only partner. Taj is also skilled with a polearm, so the two of them used to practice together when they weren't out on a mission. Ah, right. I heard Sino mention that before. But one day, Taj suddenly decided to retire from active duty and transfer to an administrative position. I wonder if it had anything to do with the Mortada incident. Taj was already very well known by the time Mortada was born. So when Mortada came to study at the Academia, Everyone had high expectations of him. He had to face a lot of pressure. Then he had an unpleasant dispute with his father, but they were eventually able to work things out. Not long after they had reconciled, Mortada was caught studying the Court of Desolation, which is in violation of Academia rules. Taj arrested his son and put him behind bars. He begged for leniency, but Taj wouldn't agree. Shortly after, Mortada slit his own throat with the pieces of a broken bowl. By the time Taj arrived at the scene, it was already too late. He never had a last chance to see his son. Since then, Taj has been periodically coming to the repository. He'll hold the files from his son's research with a remorseful look on his face. I guess that's why he chose to move to administrative work. I had no idea that happened. That must be really hard for Taj. I've never heard him mention that to anyone. Oh, that's awful. Paimon feels terrible now. Are you okay, Traveler? Wait, don't tell me you're starting to suspect Taj now. Impossible. Taj would never do that. I mean, yes, he does have a big reputation and has access to such research, but this is Tosh we're talking about. He would never do anything against regulations. Never. But if you claim that the canned knowledge was originating from the Academia, then Tosh is indeed a suspect. Because he was the only one who could have recently gone through research files about the Court of Desolation. There are so many files about those ruins that it would be difficult to restart any research, 
since the seven original researchers were put behind bars. It's hard enough just trying to make sense of these files. However, if the files were made into canned knowledge, they could be understood immediately. By doing so, one could restart the research outside the academia without anyone ever noticing. But even so... According to the legends, the treasures inside the Court of Desolation could allow someone to see beyond life and death. Or even bring the dead back to life, right? So maybe Taj is trying to bring Mortada back. Though I don't really believe Taj would ever try to do something like that. I'm just telling you what I know. It's the job of the Matra to find the truth and track down criminals. Do you have any questions? If not, it'd be best if you would leave now. Paimon's kind of confused. What should we do from here? Oh, now that I think about it, Sino suspected that the canned knowledge was coming from within the academia, right? There's no way so many boxes could ever get through without drawing any attention. Maybe we could try asking people around the gate of the academia and see what we can find. Don't worry, Tosh. I won't let your reputation be tarnished. Alrighty then, let's go ask around. Excuse me, have you seen any large shipments of goods leaving the Academia recently? Huh, well, yes, but isn't that pretty normal? The Academia consumes so many resources each day, everything from cooking ingredients, raw materials, even equipment for experiments. It's normal for goods to be coming in and out. Right, but we're looking for shipments with a Matra seal. Have you seen any like that? That I'm not too sure of. I normally wouldn't notice whether the goods have any seals or not. Maybe you should ask someone else. <laughs> Excuse me, have you seen any large shipments of goods leaving the Academia recently? No, not that I'm aware of. Perhaps you could ask someone else? Excuse me, have you seen any large shipments of goods leaving the Academia recently? Huh? Why do you ask? I'm just checking to ensure nothing unusual has happened. Well, I can't say it's unusual, but I did notice something. There's a Kashar Rawar researcher who's been making frequent shipments recently. A dozen of large boxes each time, if not more. When I asked him about it, he said they just contained a bunch of old worn-out machines. The Kashar Rawar used to often sell scrap machines to traveling merchants, so I didn't really think anything of it. But he's been making a lot of shipments lately. There weren't ever so many outdated machines before. And you didn't find that suspicious? Why didn't you report it for inspection? Well, the boxes were stamped with a Matra seal. Why should I bother? Hmm, of course, I did start to wonder about the seal once thinking that maybe they forged it or something. But you know what happened? A man named Taj came here and told me that he'd already inspected the goods personally and ordered me to leave the researcher alone. I couldn't question his word, could I? Possible. There must be some sort of mistake. There's no way Taj would ever... No, I won't believe it. Taj is an honorable man. Someone must be trying to frame him. Wait, I know another Matra who works with Taj. I can ask him to let us speak with Taj. <sighs> As I've already told you, I don't have any way to contact Taj. 
few Aramites showed up looking for Taj yesterday, and he met with them in his office. I was standing outside of the door, and I vaguely heard them say, found it. Before I realized it, the door opened, and Taj left with the group of them. I noticed that he had also changed into Aramite attire. But Taj didn't come to work today, so I've also started to feel a little concerned about the whole thing. If you'd like to speak with him, uh, maybe you can try visiting his home. He lives just on the outskirts of Sumeru City. A group of Aramites? Could Taj really be the one making all the canned knowledge? No, no way. Taj is just like Sino. They're considered heroes among the Matra. There is no way that he would... Fine. Looks like there's no other choice. Hey, don't let it get to you just yet. We'll get to the bottom of this once and for all. So, this is Taj's place. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Well, what should we do then? Do we break in? No, no. Wait, the door's unlocked. It, did Taj leave in a hurry? Well, anyway, we're still not sure if he's the real culprit. Probably not a good idea to go in without permission. You're right. Even if we apply for a warrant now, we won't be able to do anything until tomorrow at the earliest. This is an emergency. I just hope Taj doesn't mind. What's this? It's a paper full of names written on it. Oh, and a map! Uh, Nabil, can you make any sense of this? Uh, yes. This is definitely Taj's handwriting. These papers look like records. These are the transactions between Taj and some other people. From the look of the numbers, the scale of this smuggling case is absolutely massive. The whole operation involves more than 300 people, including dozens of celebrities. These are famous scholars, merchants, mercenaries. I have a feeling that Sino might be unaware of what he's up against. There's no way anyone could face such a large organization on their own. You're right, that's just who he is. As for the map, it appears to indicate the location of the Court of Desolation. Let's take it to Sino and let him decide how to proceed. If Taj really has turned on his honor and committed these terrible acts, then I suspect that he might already be at the Court of Desolation as we speak. I don't want to suspect him, but I also don't know him very well. Maybe Sino will know what to do. All right, we'll give these to Sino and see. Let's go! It's been a while since I last saw him. From what I remember, he is a straight-laced man. Although he would resort to extreme measures from time to time, he would never do anything against his beliefs. So do you think he's the one behind all this? 
I'm still not sure. I cannot imagine how devastating the incident with Mortada was for him. Nor can I deny the possibility that people can change. Whether it's out of love for his son or for other reasons, we have to see for ourselves to judge him. Or rather, the person he's become. That's right. It's clear that he had a hand in this case, yet he made no report of it. There's no doubting that. That's also why I need to see him. I must ask his reasoning and judge him myself. Time is ticking. Let's go. So this is the Court of Desolation. Are there really any treasures buried here? Oh, Hyman's kind of nervous. Could it be dangerous? Don't worry. You'll be safe with me. Time down! Torn to oblivion! Speed of light! Huh? have definitely seen better days. Was there some sort of fight here? Let's keep going and see what we can find.
Ah, Sino. It's been some time since I've seen you last. I trust you are doing well. Seeing that you've made it all the way here, you must be on the cusp of wrapping up your investigation, I presume. Hmm. <laughs> Even faster than I expected. Is it because you have some new partners now? That's right. This case is nearly closed. But the most important answer still eludes me. Was it all your doing? Smuggling the canned knowledge? The research of the Court of Desolation? <sighs> yes. It was me. Then explain why. That's the difficult part. Let's just say I've changed. I've become a selfish coward who only wants to pursue his own interests. I find that hard to believe. Oh, really? The way I see it, every person will end up like me sooner or later. When you're young, you press forward, unattached, living solely for the justice in your heart. But as you begin to age, you start to become more cautious. You know many things are wrong, but still turn a blind eye to them. I was the same. I never questioned my actions until Murtada died. I could feel the justice that I once strived to uphold slowly crumbling in my heart. I was completely dedicated to all that I did, but as I grew older, I found myself feeling alone, miserable. Can you imagine what it feels like to not have the will to live, but not be able to die? <sighs> Murtada was sent to prison by my own hands. I set myself on this painful path. My son hated me till the day he died, and now I must live with that pain and regret. I failed him as a father. But now, now I have a chance to make it right. A chance to reunite with him. The Court of Desolation. Here lies the key to overcoming life and death. The power to even bring the dead back to life. So, did you already find what you needed here? <laughs> See this door behind me? Behind it lies the treasures that I seek. I'm so close, Sino. If only you hadn't arrived now, I could already have... Enough conjecture. What has happened is already part of the past. You cannot bring the dead back to life. In the end, the treasures you seek are nothing but myths and legend. Since you're so sure, why don't you just let me open the door and see them? No. I sense danger behind that door. There will be dire consequences the moment you open it. I beg you, as an old partner, can you let me fulfill my last wish just this once? Surely you get it by now. Doing your job without mercy will only drive people away from you. I'm the prime example. I don't overthink things. If there is only one way for me to defend my principles, then that is the path I will take. Seems there's no convincing you. All right then. Let's see if your polearm skills have improved at all. This power is mine. 
Don't be scared. I will set things right no matter. Through me, justice is served. <laughs> As I thought. Your strength. You feel it, don't you? I'm stronger than you remember. I gained new power when I entered the Court of Desolation. This is only a taste of it. Once I open the door behind me, this power will be complete. Even life and death will have no grip on me. Uh-oh. We have to stop this guy! I won't let you open that door. I wouldn't be so sure. I'm afraid it won't be easy to stop me now that you're injured. Or are you ready to sacrifice your life for this? I'll do what I have to. <laughs> I still remember when we first became partners. You were always charging forward and putting your life on the line, just like now. Even after all this time, you still haven't changed. You haven't changed either. You left that list of names and map in your house on purpose, didn't you? You wanted me to be able to find you here. All of this was just part of the act you were putting on. What happened just now was also part of your plan. You might have fooled those on the list. But you will not fool me. I had my suspicions from the beginning. But I couldn't be sure until we fought. If he really had changed... Your fighting style wouldn't be as it was before. Huh? What do you mean, Sino? He never planned on opening the door. His true intention was... Uh, what's happening? Seems our time is running short. Let me make this quick then. After Mortada died, my spirit was crushed. For a long time, I was hoping this reality was just some terrible nightmare. I hoped I would just wake up and be able to see his smiling face again. That is when I was approached by someone who wished to collaborate and find the Court of Desolation together. I did some investigation of my own and discovered they were part of a massive organization. People from every walk of life are involved. They are relentless in their search, pouring countless mora into secret research, even sacrificing lives in hopes that the Court of Desolation would appear. No wonder banning the research wasn't enough. A full-scale operation was already in motion. I'm a flesh-and-blood human like anyone else, so I obviously hesitated and considered it. The thought of bringing my son back tugged at my heart, but in the end, <laughs> I came to my senses. I knew that I could not let myself go down that path. I suddenly came to a realization amidst my suffering, the Cord of Desolation, a place that once drove people to tragedy was still doing so even centuries later. As long as this place exists, people will recklessly seek it out, just as Mortada did, generation after generation, regardless of the cost. Let it be buried beneath the sand forever. Once the Court of Desolation is gone, there will no longer be anyone obsessed with seeking it out. That's right. I acted as if I had abandoned my convictions just so that they would cooperate without raising any suspicion. This was the only way I could find and destroy this place. But that wasn't enough. I needed someone I could trust to bring the organization to justice. The Academia forbids the research of the Court of Desolation, so they would never approve my plan in the first place. To add to the problem, the organization is so powerful that they even have members working within the Academia. If I wished to destroy the organization, I couldn't just count on the Academia alone. So, 
You pretended to be the one behind all this as a test for me. <sighs> yes. I'm sorry, but now I am assured. You haven't changed at all. You are still as you always were, fearless and making no compromise. Anyway, this place is collapsing. You must leave now. Wait! Aren't you leaving too? There are still loads of bad guys to catch outside! His fate is already sealed. There is no life left inside him. He is like a candle with no more wick to burn. He planned it all from the very beginning, didn't you? Risking being treated as a traitor to collaborate with them. Sacrificing your own life to open and destroy the Court of Desolation. Hmm. Regardless, I made a grave mistake by allowing the smuggling and the research of this place. Let this be the final judgment on myself. I was always so busy with work that I never made time to fulfill Mortada's wishes. <sighs> Finding this place was his biggest wish. Since I'll be reuniting with him here, I can only hope he won't have anything more to hold against me. I'll leave all those people on the list to you. Sorry for all the trouble I've caused. There's nothing to be sorry for. We are partners. If you see Mortada, send him my greetings. Goodbye, old friend. Dad, why are they so strict with me? I'm always the only one who gets in trouble. Just leave me alone! Don't worry, I won't damage your precious reputation. All right, Dad. Let's start over. By the way, I finally found an area of research I wish to pursue. Why can't you show even a little leniency? Why? Because we are Matra. Just as Taj said, that place had caused too many disasters and tragedies. Being buried in quicksand is its rightful end. To them, as long as there's Mora to be made, they will disregard the Academia's rules, whether it's the Court of Desolation or anything else. Their only goal is to make massive profits off of dangerous research, Taj may have set them back with the Court of Desolation, but it won't be long before they continue searching for another target. That's an opportunity that I will not let them have. We'll help too. Thank you, but you've already done enough. Just leave the rest to me. I will bring them to justice myself. Besides, I promised you that I would sweep away any potential danger. So, that's what I'm going to do. Wait for me at Caravan Rebob four days from now. 